Hi, this is Alan McKay. So I'm going to make this really quick. Recently, I reached out to my private email list and I got everyone to submit their favorite effects ideas that they would love to see training around. And I've gotten over 1,500 responses in the last 36 hours. And at this point, I've just sat down and gone through all of them. And I've single-handedly picked out the top 10 ones that I really love. Now, what I need you to do is to pick one of these 10 ideas that you want to see uh, created into a free visual effects training series. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend all weekend and all next week working day and night to create a free training series around that one particular subject that we all vote the most on. So I've gone through over 1500 responses. I picked out my favorite 10 and now it's your chance to vote for it. And once you vote, uh, you'll automatically receive the training when it comes out next week. And I'm going to keep you up to date as I go through it. I'm going to um, take the shot from start to finish. I'm going to go through step by step and show the entire process of creating this all the way to completion, every single bit of it along the way. So this is your chance to actually choose which one gets created. So I'm going to go through now and, and uh, read out the top 10 responses. And I'm going to let you guys vote on which one you want to see. And like I said, once you submit your vote, you'll automatically receive the free training when it comes out next week, and it won't be publicly available. So this is your chance to get in and be a part of this and also get to choose what you want to see. So initially, I'm going to read these off screen right now, but uh, these were the 10 out of so many ideas that came through. One of them was Lost in Space, the new TV show on Netflix. Uh, there's a big ship falling off the cliff that looks really cool um, I haven't seen the show yet I've been meaning to but uh, I did google it image engine created the effects for it, it looked really cool uh, there's a breakdown on YouTube if you want to look at look it up but um, that was like a massive ship so really emphasizing the the large scale uh, feel to it and having that ship falling off the edge and causing destruction as well as um, ripping up all the terrain around it. I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, the other one, number two, would be the Avengers Infinity War ending. Uh, I don't want to give much away, but the ash dust, I'm doing air quotes here, the ash dust effect that um, has become really famous. I've seen this all over the web, people mimicking this idea and trying to do it. Uh, I haven't seen that many really good versions of it, but um, is definitely a popular one. So maybe that's something that you would love to see is the how to recreate like a character disintegrating and turning to ash um, exactly like in that movie. Obviously, I've done a lot of that in the past, but this one was very stylized. Uh, so another one, number three, would be a helicopter crash. So a lot of people are asking for helicopter crashes, plane crashes, car crashes, a lot of different stuff. But um, just to break it down for this one was more of like a helicopter crash showing bending metal, dynamics, having all the rotor blades ripping up, all that good stuff. So doing a really dynamic shot with that. Another one was creating like an energy explosion. So energy ball, plasma, that sort of thing. There's a lot of people requesting this. And I have a feeling this might have been because I've been putting out some images recently of something I've been working on just in my spare time for fun. I thought I'd put it out as training and that was... Uh, I went downtown Portland and I shot uh, in a garage um, this really cool live action shot and I wanted to create like a, a really cool energy ball that's kind of building up and it kind of explodes light and energy everywhere and it's because I get a lot of people requesting sci-fi and magic effects and I don't typically do a lot of that so I just wanted to kind of showcase that um, so that was another one as well. Uh, then number five was a nuclear bomb. There's a lot of these underwater or uh, on on the surface, uh, but doing a nuclear bomb destruction, doing the mushroom cloud, doing all the destruction around it as well. Uh, number six was uh, Avengers planet destruction. So there's another shot. It's very quick, but um, Thanos kind of pulls a planet from out of the sky and like lunges at Iron Man. Um, it sounds insane, but it looked really cool. And we actually cover something very similar to that in inside of my mentorship. Uh, we do a whole planet destruction sequence from a film project that I worked on. Um, but that could be one as well. And number seven was Godzilla trashing a city. So again, large scale effects doing creature animation, creatures crashing through something. I think that could be really cool as well. So that's another one. Um, there's three more. So number eight was 
Venom, the symbiote suit. So in other words, doing kind of um, liquidy, goopy, um, very dynamic suit. That could be a lot of fun too. So kind of recreating that, that sort of thing. So again, another creature effects based uh, shot. And number nine was doing a volcano eruption. There were so many people asking for volcanoes. Um, definitely helicopter crashes, the Avengers Infinity War, and ash dust, uh, as well as the energy ball and volcano eruptions were by far the most requested out of all of these. Um, so doing, you know, a big volcano, large scale effect, having it kind of create a lot of destruction around it, that sort of thing. Finally, number 10 was a tsunami and doing a big tsunami, like tidal wave, uh, sequence, doing large scale water simulations, that sort of thing. There are so many really cool ideas, but these were just some of the ones that I thought were really awesome um, out of all of the ones submitted. And I'd love to do them all. What I want is for you to go through now and pick the one that you want to see the most and just simply vote. And once you submit your, uh, once you submit your, your vote, you'll hear on Friday what the final decision is and from there you'll be able to go on and receive the training automatically on monday or tuesday when i release it so i'm going to work crazy hours and get it all done it probably won't be all done by tuesday but i'll start putting out the videos i'll start sending them directly to you i'm not going to put these out publicly um, so these will just be for everyone on my inner circle email list it's free but um, this is a chance for you to submit your vote and then you'll automatically receive the training next week. So this is going to be really cool. I'm excited about this because it's a chance for me to interact with you and to um, not only get you to tell me what to do, but in addition to that, um, I'm going to be able to keep you in the loop and show the progress as it uh, begins to come together. And I'm, I'm excited about that. I think this is going to be really cool. It's a fun experiment and something that I want to try and do. So, uh, like I said, submit your ideas for either, you'll see the list, but uh, the Avengers Infinity War, Ash Dust Effect, the Helicopter Crash, the Lost in Space, a large ship, the Energy Ball, the uh, Godzilla trashing a city, Tsunami, Volcano, all the different ideas. So there's 10 there. Pick the one that you want to see the most, and hopefully your one gets picked uh, as the, you know, voted the highest. And on Friday, I'll announce the winner, and I will start working on that. I'm going to document the entire thing and I'll keep you in the loop as I, I go through the entire process of creating this from start to finish every step of the way. Okay, so submit your vote now and I'll shoot you an email with the winner on Friday uh, and also start to give you updates on how I'm going to go through the process and do all of that. So this is going to be really cool and exclusive and private to us those who are submitting these ideas and getting to vote on them. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.